What's up you guys? Welcome back to Ryan's Repairs. Um, as always, if you find these videos helpful, please remember to leave me a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot uh, and lets me know that I'm posting stuff that you guys enjoy. So, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Uh, we actually just finished moving from Jacksonville to Orlando. So, last few months I've been busy with that, getting the new house set up, working on the new house, and getting my new workshop set up here. Starting to get settled in now though, some more videos coming soon. So, keep on watching. Um, I was actually working on a video where I was fixing a whole batch of equipment and I ended up with two pressure washers that both had the exact same issue. And recently I've been seeing a lot of people posting in the, like the Facebook small engine repair Facebook groups about having this exact same issue. Specifically, this is an issue with um, the like Honda Ryobi pressure washers that have the idle down feature. I really like that feature, uh, but it does seem to have um, a kind of recurring issue with it. So I'm gonna show you guys my process, um, how I went through diagnosing this machine, um, and what ultimately ended up fixing it. So if you have a Honda Ryobi pressure washer with the idle down feature, and you're having issues with it surging, uh, not wanting to stay running, or also um, low pressure or maybe even no pressure. You might be surprised what the problem ended up being and what I did to actually fix it. So hang tight, I'll show you guys what we did. Um, hopefully you guys find this helpful and maybe this will fix your problem too.
right, so I've got another pressure washer here. Um, I just wanted to explain a little bit more about how that unloader valve works and why that was the problem. So first we got to understand how the water moves through this. So you realize your garden hose is going to be hooked up here. So your water is going to come in. It's going to get to the main pump assembly. It's going to be pressurized here. And then it's going to be directed out through the hose to your wand. So when you squeeze the water, water's coming in there, going through there, coming out there. Now, when you stop squeezing the wand and no more water is coming out here, that's where the unloader valve's job uh, comes in. What that does is it'll open up a little check valve so that instead of sending the water out through here, it'll actually redirect the water back through the pump. So when the engine's running, but you're not squeezing the wand, water is just being recirculated through here at high pressure. That's also why it's not a good idea to leave these things um, idling without squeezing the wand for extended periods of time because you've got this pump just recirculating pressurized water within itself over and over and over and that water heats up and then once you finally squeeze the wand and release that water, you've got a sudden temperature differential from the hot water coming out to the cold fresh water coming in. So as you can see, that pressure washer actually had two separate issues, which both kind of contributed to the same problem. One, obviously the carburetor was dirty, which is a very common issue, especially on any kind of equipment that sits for extended periods of time. But two, the set nut on the unloader valve had jiggled loose over time. And actually when I started working on this pressure washer, there was a lot of nuts and bolts on here that had just been jiggled loose from use. So it seems to be a common issue. I don't know if maybe from the factory they need to start putting Loctite on those things or just jam the jam nut down on there harder. Because as you can see, when I first touched that nut, it was, it was totally loose. So I mean, I, I could move it with my finger. And so that thing coming loose and then just backing off over time probably caused the pressure to just drop lower and lower and lower until it started screwing with the governor settings on the pressure washer um, and ending up making it unable to continue running and running strong. So anyways, hope that was super informative. I hope that all made sense. Again, please remember to leave me a like and subscribe if this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.